Hey everyone, CyberDuck here. We're back with the NCL challenges. We're going to be going over challenge 5 today, a medium OSINT challenge, and next challenge will be a hard challenge. We won't do all of them, just because, you know, I'll let you all try the easier ones, and then if you have any questions, come back and I'll try to answer the other ones as well. So what we're going to be looking at today is certificates, specifically what they are, how they work, what OSINT information we can pull from them, and you know, why they're important. And I'll quickly explain what certificates are and, you know, how they're used. So let's do that. So in certificates, we have a key pairing, a private key and a public key. The private key will be only available to a person, identity provider, certificate provider, and the public key will be given to the rest of the world. Now, we're able to make connections and requests to these websites and we can verify that it's that website by connecting through the certificate and seeing that it's only that one website that can be verified with the private key. This basically helps you with identity protection, like you don't go to a different website and it's not the one that it's supposed to be. And that's, that's the gist of it. Hey everyone, so I headed over to my Kali Linux machine that I have here set up. And I'm already logged in to the gym, so let's go ahead and do that. Just enter the gym. Let's click on the open source intelligence here. Then we'll click on SSL, medium challenge. And we have some questions down here. These are the ones we're going to focus on. So it's basically just saying, you know, what's the SSL certificate of Cyber Skyline, this website here? How many bits long is the SSL key? How many certificates are in the certificate chain? So, I'm sure you've seen the little lock emoji thingy. I'm gonna call it lock emoji up on this left hand corner. This basically means it's in, the connection's encrypted, it's HTTPS, and there's a certificate. So let's click on that. Connection secure, click on that. More information. Here you'll see that it's actually giving me the certificate, so let's just view it. So now we got the whole cert right here on our page. If we go back to the first challenge question, who is the issuer? So let's find an issuer here. Issue your name. Sectigo Limited. Copy paste that. So this is going to be the person that gives a certificate. You know, it helps with um, basically having a provider middle person, not you yourself having to set up the certificates and the chain and the keys and storage and doing escrow keys and making sure all those keys are stored properly. You can have somebody else do it for you, a trusted source, and that's what Cyber Skyline is doing. How many bits long is the SSO key? So we can go here. The public key is 2048 bits. So let's do that. How many certificates are in the certificate chain? So in certificates, in a certificate chain, you have basically a primary provider, and then you have third party providers, and then it finally gets down to the website itself, also known as a root, root certificate provider, and then others. You can check this here. So I actually figured that the providers are actually on top here. It goes Cyber Skyline and then it gets into Sectigo 
uh, certificate authority then this certificate authority sends it over to this user trust certificate authority cert and this would be the root cert third party and then the website itself so in total it'd be three oops i thought i put three in there and there we go wasn't too hard uh it's just it basically just takes knowing where to look what to look for and what exactly a certificate is and that's it really knowledge is power so let's get it that concludes that small nco challenge if there's anything i missed you liked it or you didn't like it let me know like subscribe Go and follow me as well, CyberDucky. I'll put it on the description. And if anything, just let me know. See y'all later.